Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Above the Fold. Um, before we get into things, real quick side note. I'm really loving my earrings today. They're called Snowdrop earrings, I believe. And I just really, they're from Loft and I'll definitely link them in the description box below. But I'm really loving a lot of Loft clothing and accessories. I think they're just so classic and they're cute. And yeah, so I just want to share these with you guys. I think they're really cute. Okay, anyways, back to the tutorial. So yeah, today I want to show you guys how I created this plum, orchid, smoky eye look. And yeah, there are a couple sources of inspiration for this look. Number one being I was pretty much just, you know, minding my own business, perusing Twitter, and then bam, I came across this look on the KKW beauty page and I thought it was stunning. I stalked my tracks and admired it from different angles and yeah I definitely felt like I wanted to recreate it in some sort of shape or way and honestly I don't know about you guys but sometimes I feel kind of self-conscious about revealing inspirations for my look because a lot of times what I see does not directly translate to my monolidid eye, so I definitely make a lot of modifications and it ends up not looking quite the same. But yeah, so I was definitely really inspired by this look. Definitely what I ultimately did probably doesn't look exactly the same, but I was inspired. And the second source of inspiration is, I don't know, but just recently I've been feeling there's something different in the air, like um, bumblebees. Um, warmer weather, sunshine, um, flowers blooming, love in the air. Uh, huh? Is that, are those even complete sentences? Okay guys, I have a better way to explain what I'm feeling. Oh, um, may I interject? I think I know what you're trying to say. Let me try this. Oh god, what is she doing? Uh, well, at least I like this song. Three little birds sat on my window And they told me I don't need to worry Summer came like cinnamon So sweet Little girls double touch on the concrete Maybe sometimes We've got it wrong, but it's alright More things seem to change The more they stay the same Don't you hesitate, girl, put your records on Tell me your favorite song You go ahead and let your hair down Sapphire and faded jeans I hope you get your dreams Alright, time out, time out Is this a music video or a makeup tutorial? Stop No, no, you're right This is a makeup tutorial Sorry, I got sidetracked Now, do we really have to do all that? I think what you were trying to say is just that Your makeup is inspired by spring? But don't you ever just feel like sometimes you're at a loss for words and the only way you can explain something is through a song? Okay, I guess it's just me. But anyways, if you guys want to see how I created this plum, orchid, smoky eye look, then stay tuned and watch the tutorial. Oh, and don't forget to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. She always forgets to say this. Okay, so the first step you want to do is go ahead and prep and prime your face. 
which I have already done so I've also gone ahead and I drew in my eyebrows as well. So after that I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And given the fact that this makeup is pretty heavy on the eye makeup, I think it's definitely important to make sure your eyes are nice and primed. After that, today I'm actually um, going to be using my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I realized I haven't really used this palette that much, um, but actually just um, in revisiting it, I realized there's actually a little great color for um, any sort of like spring makeup looks you want to do, like there's some fluorescent pink, there's some plums, so actually it's worthwhile revisiting it for any spring look you're trying to put together. But for my base, I'm going to go ahead and apply a plentiful amount of Sugar Daddy and Lucky and My Cookie. I love the Too Faced names. Um, and I'm just going to be generous with the amount because I'm going to be doing a sort of cut crease graphic liner shape and I just want all the colors to be pretty visible. Biggie pudding and I might also use a bit of reindeer paws and I'm going to start um, scoping out that graphic liner shape um, and then that's going to help provide guidelines and determine where I'm going to shade in the colors. So I'm going to kind of angle upwards a bit like a, maybe like a 45 degree angle. Oh and I neglected to mention but I'm kind of going to follow along the area where my eye socket seems in. out the shape I am actually going to take um, a shading brush and I'm going to go in with figgy pudding and shade um, the, the latter half of my eyelid in between these lines and and then afterwards I'm going to blend it in with some of these soft pink pastel shades I'm also going to bring some of these, um, this plum shade to my lower lash line. And now I'm going to do some blending with these pastel pinks. And I'm also going to take Spiked Eggnog, the champagne shade, and just highlight my inner corners as well as my brow bones. my Mac eye pencil and teddy and just line my lower lash line to give it some more definition. And recently I've been really um, liking to take my glitter pop liner from Too Faced and just um, trace over these graphic liners because I think it really makes it pop. So after that, I'm going to take my Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Lining Pen and I'm going to draw a thin flick shape. mascara and I'm just going to apply some to my lower lash line. So now I'm pretty much nearly done with the look. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some blush. I'm using my Too Faced Sweetheart Perfect Blush Blush. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some highlighter. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Blinded by the Light Prismatic Highlighter. So for the lipstick, I was really debating between um, this Clinique Chubby lipstick and Roundest Raspberry 
like a plum shade or my usual favorite, which is the Lancome Le Absolute Rouge in Rose Amnesia. And I think I'm still going to go with Rose Amnesia because generally I like to just like if I'm going to do a more dramatic eye, I like to balance it out with a nude or close to nude um, lipstick shade. But yeah, I'm going to use this one again. have it this is the finish look i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah stay tuned for more content for me thanks for watching bye